Anybody want to touch on monitoring progress? I do because interestingly enough, every time we put up a video, I'm saying how many views do I need to advertise and I'm finding ways to, I'm like, I'm not where I want to be. And if you don't look at progress, you could say, hey, I'm doing good or I'm, I'm doing bad. And then you won't really see, well, how's it been going? And then you have a schedule, you're like, I thought I was doing awesome. And it could be in anything. It could be relationships, fitness, anything like that. I mean, if I go to the gym consistently, I want to see that there's a notable difference. If I'm gaining weight going to the gym, I'm like, oh, what am I doing? I shouldn't have been eating Doritos. That's not a workout. Same thing with this. If I'm not getting the views, I'm thinking, hey, what do I have to do? And then, funny enough, being in, in technical land, I can't believe I click on video manager. I'm like, there's got to be some way to promote my videos. I'm like, down click promote. I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm like, there is a way to see if I'm not where I'm at or if I'm not getting the results I'm at. What am I going to do about it? Where? Because without monitoring it, I can never see we, I need some advertising to boost up the videos. I need to go to the gym to feel good. And without that, it's kind of hard. You need something oh, yeah. where you can throw a yardstick and be like, I'm going to run around in circles. <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Even if you're traveling, you have a GPS, right? Does everybody here use a GPS except when it annoys you? It's like, turn left here. I'm like, I use a map still, bro, because I am so good at reading maps. I use a map. I do I both. Use, I use GPS if I'm in a city, but if I'm out in a rural area, out in the countryside, no, I use a map. Always use a map. Use a map. Yeah. But even a map tracks your progress. You're like, I'm here. I don't want to get here. The only reason I like the GPS is it interacts with me when no one will. It's like my best buddy. Until it tells me to turn left into a lake. Then I'm like, ah. Kareem gets lonely in his car. That's why he likes the GPS. Aw. <laughs> you love Kareem? Yeah, we do. <laughs> want some cookies? I want some cookies. Yeah, please. If if you like this show, send me some cookies. Like, some comment, cookies. subscribe, and send me some cookies. I'll give yeah, you my man. address. Yeah, send us a box of cookies and, and send me some bourbon. That, that's that's a good idea. Send me some, some of this and maybe some health drinks <laughs> if you liked our content. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just a lot of fun, you know. Just come on. We're coming on here and we're having fun. Uh, we haven't heard from Fernadad very much. What do you think of what we're talking about tonight, Fernadad? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm still here. Don't worry. <laughs> oh no, so, I just I don't want us to be the only ones talking. It's it's for everyone. Yeah, yeah. You uh, we're talking about the monitor progress, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, I think it's very important because uh, you, you see how you you move forward. Um, you you get motivated, okay? Like Karim said, when you go to the gym, um, when when you see your first achievement, your your arm getting bigger, you you see it works. Yeah, if if you wouldn't see that uh, something is happening, you would stop doing it because you think, hey, yeah, it makes no sense what I'm doing here. Yeah, no, it's very yeah. important. Yeah, it's just like I saw your promotion with Rain Rewards, and that's a way to track progress. How many people are you promoting what OK Cash do? How many people are you promoting your oh, website yeah. to? And then you can actually see progress, like, oh, I had one sign-up today or one referral and, today. And this makes things easier, you know? When, when you start pushing a project and nothing is happening, um, yeah, you, you're not motivated anymore. But step by step, oh, half is done. Oh, look, 80 from 100, okay? Then mm -hmm. you get more motivated and you run and, yeah. It's just when you get that first sign up, that first person who's like, whoa, what you're doing here is cool. That first, you know, 100 views, you go crazy. You're like, wow. And we talked about this on a previous broadcast, uh, Kaizen. The idea of Kaizen is yeah. you have little achievements <clears throat> because if you say, I want to get a million views, if you want to get rock hard apps tomorrow, it can get discouraging. Yeah. 
But if I get a little bit closer, if I lose 1% body fat, if I get 10 more views than I did, if I just get to 200,000 views, whoa, that's amazing. What else could I do? What else could I accomplish? And that's kind of the philosophy I use. I need a little bit of encouragement, just the tiniest amount. Then I push it up. Then I push it up. And then pretty soon you know you're, you're a champion athlete. You're famous on YouTube and everything worked out because you took those little <coughs> steps and made yeah, it and big. It's, it's also very in, uh, important to monitor it because uh, you know what you have to do to move forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me say when you like promoting, okay, when you Twitter a message, let me say 10 times and you get uh, one sign up, but I said something because now you know if you tweet it 100 times, you get 10 sign ups. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I definitely but know what you mean. You, you only know this when you monitor your progress. Yeah, like when Calvin Wayman comes on or, or when there was this guy named David Walsh coming on, and then I just promoted that crap. I just went crazy promoting that. I was like on live all day. You can ask Chris. I was like, oh, I hope this works out. And then <laughs> I'm, I'm promoting, yeah. I'm promoting. And then I'm like, oh, my God, I hope this works out. I have, like, my nice thing, and I'm ready. And I was monitoring. I was like, okay, I talked to this many people. I talked to this many people. I have to talk to more. Who did I talk to? We That's had it. an awesome broadcast that day. Yeah, we did. I'm going to yeah. say I've been to a lot of fun parties. That could have topped most of them, maybe all of them. <laughs> and it was yeah. just, it was just oh, because. It was just because I monitored who I talked to, when I talked to, and where I was promoting. Yep. Which yeah. brings me right into number five, enlisting support. We just talked about that. Dreams are that are not anchored in reality and lack structure or, or outcome can be crushed by dream stealers. I call them sheep. But, uh, yeah, because, I mean, if you got people around you who are like, ah, uh, Go to work, nine to five. Who are you to have dreams? I'm like, uh, you know what, dude? I think I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, but the, impo so, the important thing is not to have these people around. Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, those people scare me. Um, but, you know, I want to also educate people with our show and let them know that, hey, you know what? Everybody has creative ability. Everybody has creative talents and abilities that are totally their own. Therefore, nobody's inferior, right? We've all got creative intelligence. Every single one of us was born with a human mind, which is the greatest creation in the universe. So if you have people around you that are trying to suck you into their paradigm, Get rid of them. You don't need them in your life. Come on. Who yeah. wants to <clears throat> exactly. Going on and on about how much they hate their job. I look at them and go, then quit it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like holy shit, man. Like if you hate your job so much, why are you still doing it? <laughs> well, because you I don't have a choice. Yes, you do have a choice. It's called choosing to do something different. But, you know, that, that eludes most people because of conditioning. They're conditioned to believe that, hey, I don't have another way out. And when you start talking to them about all this personal development stuff, they think you're in a cult. It's like, okay, you're hopeless. See you later. <laughs> I, I don't, have time. I don't waste time on people like that anymore. I used to try to convince as many people <clears throat> as possible to be dreamers. Now I don't bother because I know who is and who isn't. And believe Dream on. Yeah, and when you're talking to somebody – you know within 15 minutes, for, for the most part, what kind of person that they are. You know. Because if you start telling them what you do and you start telling them that you've read all these books, they're like, oh, you're not buying into that mystical horse shit, are you? It's like, yeah, you know what? Actually, it's not mystical and it's real, so it's called it's rage mode. <laughs> you know, so it, it's just being around the right people like us. You know, we lift each other up. We give each other spunk. We give each other motivation. That's what being an entrepreneur is about. To me, anyway, that's what I've learned so far is to be positive and to bring people up. Yeah, you know, sometimes you feel like just, you know, 
saying the wrong thing or, you know, that ego comes out and you're like, oh, you know what, I'm going to tell you how it is. But I've learned to resist that. <laughs> because I'm like, no, because if I talk, if I start being an asshole, then I'm just as bad as the person who's being an asshole to me. I'm just as bad. And it's on the lesson of self-control in the law of success about not losing my cool and just, okay, man, that's your opinion. That's fine. And I, I am I am becoming more and more like that all the time. Calmer, more, more um, what's the word I'm looking for? 